I'm not talking to the camera. I'm actually behind the camera. So I, I go with the GoPro Hero 8. It's got the best stabilization and the best image other than the 9. But uh, I wasn't happy now. I got 32 videos out there, 35, maybe 37 videos out here on YouTube of me riding my scooter around. So I, I'm realizing there's a lot of wind noise, man. I need to eliminate that wind noise. So then I started looking at which is the best motor vlog mic. So I, it says I need to buy an adapter for the GoPro that allows a mic to plug in. And the best motor vlog mic out there that everybody's uh, recommended is called the Purple Panda. So the mic adapter is 50 bucks and the Purple Panda mic is 50 bucks so there's a hundred dollars extra right now that I, i've already done spent it's uh well worth the hundred dollars because i enjoy doing this and uh the only thing is is the audio sucks on my videos how many of you guys can actually uh agree with me so to in order to frame more satisfaction to my viewers and my subscribers I want to throw that hundred dollars to where it needs to go to upgrade my mic. And now I'm making editing software. I know I put a good thumbnail sometimes out there. I'm not going to say the best thumbnails, but that's a free thing. You can or you can download uh, thumbnails for YouTube, and they got a lot of free stuff that you don't need to buy that allows me to decorate my thumbnail. But as far as editing goes. There's a couple of free editing softwares that, uh, you know, keeps the watermark on there, sponsoring uh, their app. But uh, not just that watermark that bugs me, but everything on the content that's good on the software is locked. You would have to pay a certain amount of money, either monthly or yearly, to unlock all the benefits of the app. So it's as low as $9.99 a month, up to $32 something change for a year. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Starting this February, starting tomorrow, guys, I'm going to be upgrading my mic for the audio. Then I want to download the software, start editing my uh, content, taking my time with it, and hopefully producing better content for you guys, better videos. But that being said, is uh, stick with me, guys. It's bound to get better. Not worse, sir, I promise. Only better. Let's see if I can make this jump. Yeah, we're not going fast enough. No, not even fast enough. I'm gonna have to slow down. There's a lot of soft dirt. This moto vlog is gonna turn into a moto vlog on me on my ass pretty soon if I keep it up. Whoa, look at this, guys. Good lord. I told you guys we've been having a lot of rain in my uh, previous videos yeah would you just look at that what I'm sort of wondering oh because let's see I'm thinking why was that canal bank almost empty over there and then this is all the way full let's go explore I'm sort of wondering about that guys is it because the people are irrigating I doubt it we just had a lot of freaking rain Nobody would need to irrigate after this week's worth of rain that just flooded us out. So let's take a little look. Backtrack. Oh, it's because of this, man. So all this water comes to this point where it's barely making it over the edge. Allowing just a little stream in that canal and a big old flood in this canal. Well, that's what happened. Man, when I grew up out in the country, guys, this was my swimming pool. Not this here Pacific Canal that we're looking at, but canals and period out in the country that look like this. I grew up swimming in them like if there were a swimming pool. I haven't swam in no canals for 20 plus years, maybe 30. I'm 42 right now, and the last time I swam in a canal, I think I was maybe only 12, 13 years old, maybe 11. But 
I do not recommend for anybody to be swimming in no canals. Back then it seemed like it was less uh, polluted and stuff. Maybe I just wasn't aware of it. Of all the stuff that canals have inside of them. Man, I sure do talk a lot. I've been not vlogging for a little while, like a week, and I just seem like I'm just talking all of the storm right now. Turn down your volume, guys, if I'm driving you nuts, huh? <laughs> Beautiful country, don't you agree? I think I want to go one more time straight on this canal. those were just ripped out see they were just like this right here so all the trees were looking out to the left of us we just had a big old storm that came through here and lasted a week high winds and a lot a lot of rain so a lot of trees end up doing this what we see right here they ended up with the winds blowing really strong and the ground being so soft they just came right out of the ground caused a lot of damage in our communities over here in the Central Valley I know a lot of people got their cars uh, plowed by trees, their homes, their houses, like say their patios, their uh, all sorts of stuff got ruined over here in the Central Valley. We just had a pretty good hit from a storm, an ugly storm. So the forecast looks a bit, it seems to be over, thank God. used to having this kind of stuff in the Central Valley. We're, we're used to watching it on the news, you know, from other states and towns and stuff, but for the little Central Valley that we live in over here, we're not used to these kind of, this kind of weather. The guy at the truck, he's only doing his job. See, if he knows there's a lot of orchards around here and stuff, so this guy, he must live and own one of